Wow, this season went really quick. It's time to wrap up my autumn reading and reveal my book of the season. What's up guys, welcome back to Unlimited Reads. My name is Chris and today I'll be officially wrapping up my autumn reading. It was a bit of a slow quarter. Uh, normally I read a lot quicker than I had in autumn. I uh, did slow down a little bit because I had been busy with other things, but I still managed to read 16 books for March, April and May, which wasn't too bad. And I'll go through them now with you and then at the end I'll officially reveal my book of the season which as I've mentioned in previous videos when I change to a quarterly format for uh, a reading TBR it's a little bit easier to pick from a larger field than just uh, four or five books and some of them may even be rereads which don't really count but let's go through the list shall we all right so the first one I read was uh, The Troop by Nick Cutter which was a really really good horror novel I reviewed that on the channel some time ago and uh, did pick on it for a couple of um, parts where uh, things were over described but overall it was pretty good next I read something that I wouldn't normally read and that was Verity by Colleen Hoover which was a suspense novel which I really really enjoyed it had a really really good twist at the end and I was glad I picked it up because I had heard really good things on Facebook everyone was reading it and uh, people were uh, really impressed with it and I had to find out what all the fuss was about and I'm glad I picked it up Next, I read Die Trying, Jack Reacher, book number two, as part of the Jack Reacher reread project. Really, really enjoyed it. Again, I did review that on the channel also. Uh, I read Dark Sun by Michael Robertson Jr., which was the second full-length book in the Lance Brody Supernatural Suspense series, which is a series I am really, really enjoying at the moment and really, really like the character of Lance Brody. It was a really, really good read. I read another Robert McCammon title also, his very first published book called Baal, again, which I reviewed on the channel and quite enjoyed it. Was it his best book? No, but it was still really enjoyable nonetheless. Next, I read a non-fiction title called The Stable Boy of Auschwitz about uh, Henry Oster's account in the concentration camps. Now, interestingly enough, with this book, I didn't review it on the channel because of the nature of the content. I had uh, a video ready to go and scripted up and a trigger warning put in place to put on the video if I chose to upload a review video. In the end, I thought about it long and hard and decided not to put it up. Uh, due to the content there so I just wanted to be a little bit mindful but the book was very very interesting you can't enjoy a book like this but you can appreciate it and I think it's important uh, as a human race to acknowledge what happened in um, that period of history which was uh, an absolute nightmare uh, the next book I read was uh, something starkly different and a little bit lighter in content and that was Big Tree by Brian Selznick it was about a couple of uh, really cute sycamore seeds that fight for survival in the world um, uh, 65 million years ago. It was a really, really touching read. It was full of those uh, trademark grey rendered pictures that Brian Selznick is renowned for. And it was just charming with a positive message at the end. And I did review that on the channel as well. Um, and then next I did read some scare uh, some. Uh, R.L. Stein Goosebumps books for the Horror Mayhem Project, which I didn't overly enjoy. I read Welcome to Dead House, uh, The Scarecrow, Scarecrow Walks at Midnight, and Night of the Living Dummy 1, 2, and 3, which featured Slappy. <laughs> I can't get over that name, but um, they were very, very painful, and I was going to read more of them, but decided five was enough for me. Okay, now uh, obviously uh, I, that put me into a reading slump which I mentioned in the last video and I reread The Shining which I absolutely love, my seventh time through it and took my time with it and really really loved it. I also read The Strange Highways novella by uh, Dean Koontz which I mentioned in the last video as well. And I read Darkshaw by Michael Robertson Jr., the next book in the Lance Brody Supernatural Suspense series, which I'm really, really enjoying and plan on binging those in the future. 
now we come to the book of the season. Now this was a really hard choice actually, and it was a bit more challenging, which is what I wanted because out of 16 books, there can be only one winner. And the winner goes to The Mother by T.M. Logan. Uh, Tim was on the channel uh, recently, in recent times, and we had a good old chat uh, about the book and other things. And I thought this one was a clear winner because it was very, very compelling about how a mother fought to clear her name and find justice for herself. And there was a mega, mega twist at the end of the book, which was absolutely genius. And, uh, you know, I really enjoyed talking to Tim on the channel. And uh, he just wrote, he is renowned as being the master of the up all night thriller uh, for obvious reasons. But uh, really, really enjoyed it. I ripped through it in no time flat. And uh, the characters were well written, although a couple of the minor characters were a little bit cardboard. But, uh, you know, overall, the book was actually brilliant. And I can't wait to read uh, what he comes out with next. And hopefully he has mentioned that he may entertain the idea of doing introducing a series character. It's in the back of his mind. And hopefully he does that because I would love to follow a series that he writes. So uh, there you go, guys. That is the wrap up for autumn. Uh, as, as I said, it was a little bit of a slow quarter because uh, my reading did drop off a little bit. But I can tell you over winter, my reading is going to kick up a gear or two because I have so many books to choose from to read. All of them fantastic. I'm spoiled for choice and I'm um, looking forward to just kicking it up a notch and reading as much as I can. Um, looking forward to the June on the Range project, which I'm in the middle of now, and can't wait to share with you my thoughts on what I think of the books that I'm reading as part of the project. So there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, offer up any comments uh, down below and I'll always respond to that. And until the next video, guys, which will not be too far away, I'll see you later.